Hey, hey, how we doing? You all right? Uh, I see a couple young people here. Just to let you know, I'll tell you this. If you're going to go to college, no one's going to tell you this. There are bad colleges out there, all right? No one tells you. They could be, there's bad college. I went to a bad college. I know I went to a bad college because my college closed. I didn't even know colleges could close. Like a radio shack in a mall. Go on. There were some red flags. Part of my school became an Old Navy while I was there. <laughs> yeah, they don't do that at good schools. <laughs> no one's ever going to Harvard. They're like, where's Harvard Square? They're like, oh, it's the JC Penney's now. <laughs> this is my year to try to get better shape. That's my thing for this year. I'm gonna try and get better shape. The thing that's frustrating about working out, trying to get better shape, is that you don't know if what you're doing will work for like six months. That's super frustrating, right? Like, I, like I, you have to have confidence in what you're doing. It's gonna work. Like, I think I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm starting counting calories. Honestly, going great. High score, every day. <laughs> every day, my app is like congratulating me, just like, hey, you reached your max calorie count. I'm like, you bet I have. <laughs> Celebrate with a donut, you know? <laughs> I tried to get a personal trainer because I don't know what to do in the gym. I tried to get a personal trainer, he ghosted me. Yeah, I got ghosted by my personal trainer. You guys ever pay someone to not give up on you and they do? <laughs> it's like hiring a prostitute and they're just like, nah. <laughs> not even for money. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm in, a, I'm in a relationship now, I'm excited about that. Cause I'm not, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> No, no, it's, it's great, because I, I I'm off the dating apps now. They're tough, man, they are tough. Because like, everyone's on dating apps. That's really weird. Everyone's on dating apps. My mom? Yeah, she shouldn't be on those things. Why not? Listen, I'll tell you why not. Listen, listen, I'll tell you this. I want her to find love. I really do. I just need her to stop sending me pictures of dudes that she's about to go on dates with, with the message, here's your new daddy. <laughs> Guys, my dad is still alive. <laughs> and they're still married. It's a huge, <laughs> huge problem. <laughs> the girlfriend's cool. She's really awesome. She's a pediatric ER doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one in this room thought that's what I was going to say, huh? <laughs> no, no. I was going to say I deserve it, but all you guys are like, no, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> It's fun. We uh, we uh, we got engaged a little bit ago too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so oh, good. Thank you so much. So happy. I'm excited about it. We're talking about different stuff now. When you're in a different uh, level of your relationship, you talk about different stuff. It gets more and more, a little more deep, a little more, you know, like like we're we're doing a prenup. Yeah. 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 We're doing a prenup. We're doing a prenuptial agreement. We're doing a prenup. We're doing a prenuptial agreement. <laughs> We're doing a prenup because she's an ER doctor and I'm pretty cool. <laughs> People have been weird about the prenup. It's been weird. Some guy thought it was my idea. Why? Why would it be my idea? Can you imagine the audacity I would have to have to walk up to a pediatric ER doctor, look her right in the eyes and be like, listen, I just want to make sure you're in it just for me. And you're not just after my hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> the hardest part about the prenups is we had to show each other our finances. That was the thing. I was very scared about that. I was scared about that because she showed me her portfolio and I showed her. Yeah, portfolio is a bit of a harsh term for what I got going on. <laughs> Honestly, it's a piece of paper I folded in half. <laughs> I put the word finances on this side. I put four dollars and one cent in there. And that was my 401k. No employer will match it, it's weird. Listen, I signed the prenup right away. Didn't even think about it. Yeah, didn't even think about it. I thought I'm in it for her. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm in it for her. I didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. Signed, it's gone, it's done. But now I know how much money she actually does have. I made a mistake. <laughs> Listen, I've never thought of myself as a gold digger, but now, <laughs> 
Every time she walks into her room, I do have this weird urge to constantly just pour champagne all over my tits. <laughs> Moving in together was a, was a thing. I've never done that before either. That was interesting. Just like you, yeah, you have to, you know, when you move in with somebody, you have to like deal with someone else's uh, issues that you wouldn't ever normally deal with, right? Like she's a very light sleeper. I'm a very heavy sleeper. So we, I, I do, so like we go through different things. Like she's gone through stuff that I have not gone through. Like, like she wears a sleep mask to sleep. She told me that she has to wear a sleep mask to sleep so that way the light doesn't wake her up when she's asleep, right? That's great. I've never had to feel that way before because listen, I've always just closed my eyes, you know? <laughs> Check this out. Light, no light. Light, no light. Light, no light. <laughs> One of our favorite things to do, one of our favorite pastimes, we love watching reality TV shows together. Yes. We love them. I like to watch the ones where you watch people make big life choices because usually they choose the wrong ones and you can feel good about your life choices. Yeah. There's a great show on TV. It's called uh, Marriage or Mortgage. It's on Netflix. If you ever want to feel good about yourself, watch the show because this is the big dilemma of the show. People have their entire life savings. They have to spend it on either their dream house or their dream Wedding. What? Are you out of your mind? Buddy, what would you choose? House or marriage? Don't help him. Do not help him. Come on, just choose one. It's fine. It's not going to be a big deal. Just choose one. Of course it's a fucking house! There is no choice in the house! A 10 year old knew that shit. There are people that are 45 on this show that choose the goddamn wedding. <laughs> but honestly, it's the best part of the whole show. Because I love watching people make the wrong choice and pay for it almost right away. The moment they choose the wedding, they're so excited. They're like, we're so smart. We fell in love. We made the right choice. And then it just fades to black and says, due to COVID 19, none of these weddings could happen. <laughs> And you're like, justice, pure <laughs> justice. The thing is, I used to watch TV shows a lot differently when I was single. I used to watch whatever I wanted all the way through, no problems. Now, I watch what she wants. And I walk in about 40 minutes in, I'm not allowed to ask any questions. So I have to figure out what's going on in the show with no information about what the show is about. It's frustrating. And it honestly looks bad at me a lot of the time in the relationship. It's not good. Like, we're watching the show Love on the Spectrum. I don't know if you've seen the show. It's an amazing show. Great show. Create it up for that show. Get it up for that show. It's a great show. Yes. If you have not seen the show, the first season, they follow people that live in Australia. They all have autism. They date. They fall in love. It's very heartwarming. It's a great show. But when I started watching the show, I had no idea what the show was about. <laughs> Honestly, I did not catch that they had autism. Honestly, I thought that was just Australian culture. <laughs> 15 minutes into watching the show, I looked my fiance dead in the face. And I said to her, man, I did not know a lot of Australians live with their parents. <laughs> she looked at me and was like, they're autistic. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure they said Australian. <laughs> you guys have been real awesome. My name is Trippie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.